everyone, I'm Danielle and welcome back to my messy desk. This week I am doing a plan with me that will cover the week of July 9th through July 15th. But before I get started on my layout, I want to introduce you to a couple of things that are new in my shop this week that are Happy Mail related. The first I have this little sheet of Happy Mail envelope stickers for your planner to remind you when you can expect Happy Mail or when you will be mailing off Happy Mail. And then the next are these adorable little stamp stickers that say send specifically to use in your planner when you need to send off Happy Mail. And you'll be able to purchase these in my store starting today, either individually or as a kit. Next, I have these larger envelope Happy Mail stickers. These are one inch across and are mainly designed to use on your envelopes when you send Happy Mail. I will be using them in all my orders out of my shop, but you can also use them in your big Happy Planner to remind you about Happy Mail as well. Now the next thing I wanted to talk about are these full size dashboards that I've uh, started making for my planner. I found this design on a free printable Facebook page that I am a member of and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I printed it off, made the little words Wild Heart, Gypsy Soul and laminated it and punched it and put it in my planner. Now I'm able to put like sticky notes and so forth on it and use it as a full page dashboard every week. I am considering putting some like this in my shop um, to sell. So if you have an opinion about full page dashboards like this, please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Now the dashboards I would sell in my shop would be dual sided. So you would have the same picture on both sides or maybe two complementary pictures, one on each side. So with that, let's get started on this week's layout. Now this week is a big week for me. The 11th is my birthday. I am so excited. It is a big year for me. So I wanted to find a layout that was going to take me back to kind of like when I was a teenager and I used to collect unicorns. So I found this really adorable layout from Glitter Monday called Unicorn Planner Stickers. Um, I loved the colors and I loved the bubble letters and just the entire kit was just so cute and it looked like something I would have used when I was a teenager. So these are some of the shades. I mean, look at these full boxes. Aren't they just adorable? Now this kit is different from some of the other ones that I've used recently as in there's like no habit trackers or date headers, but that's fine because I made do with what the kit gave me. Now, I also pulled in a couple of my Mambi sticker books, the seasonal sticker book and the quote sticker book to try to pull a couple of elements to tie my layout this week in with my birthday. So let's get started. Now, I usually like to put washi on the top and the bottom of each of my page, but this one, this kit only has one large strip, so I had to cut it in half. So I'm going to go ahead and start with just some regular glitter strips on the top to replace the fact that there are no date headers in this kit. And then I will put the washi in on top of those. And something I noticed, I don't know if other people have this problem, <laughs> but I put my glitter strips end to end across and there always seems to be a little gap at the end, especially on the Thursday through Sunday page. So this week I, again, just put another little strip there and cut it to fill in the gap. I think starting next week, I'm just going to put my strips in line to line instead of end to end. Hopefully that will remedy that problem. Now I'm looking at the washi on top and I cut it a little wonky. One side is thicker than the other. So I am just going to go and do the bottom first and then deal with the top last. And 
Now I'll use the thicker of the two pieces of washi on this side. I still can't believe I didn't cut it better. <laughs> I need to get a new blade. This one unscrews and I have to keep tightening it up every time I use it. And then over here I will leave just a little bit of white space between the washi and my glitter headers. And I don't think it looks bad at all. Now this kit has two weekend banners to choose from, but I chose the blue bubble one. I just felt that it fit the layout better for me. And then of course I have to start Monday with my butt breakfast first. Now I don't have a whole lot going on this week, but I do have a couple of little things that I need to get done. So I have to work on some paperwork Monday morning. And I have to do a couple of videos um, doing a pocket letter tutorial and a washi tape storage tutorial that I will fill in there. And then put in a nice full box and start with the blue unicorn. Now this week I'm also doing a before the pen so I'm not really posting writing anything in. And of course I cannot forget my cubby game. And Tuesday I have an important phone call I have to make so I'll mark that with one of my phone stickers from my shop. And I also have some design work that I need to do. Tuesday is going to be my day for doing that. I have a city meeting Tuesday night, but I will go in with a full box ahead of that. I just love the, the boxiness of the of the elements in this kit. I just I don't know. It reminds me so much of the 80s. I love it. And the city meeting is a very important meeting, so I'm going to use one of my Don't Forget stickers from my shop. And Wednesday is my birthday, so I want to do something really cool for that. So I am going to use the little sticker here that says, Be a Damn Unicorn because like I am a unicorn and I'll come in here with some red glitter and a full box another blue unicorn now my daughter and my partner have planned a little thing for the day for me I'm not sure what all is going on so I'm just gonna leave that little box blank and then I'm going to pull in my Mambi Seasonal sticker book and use the birthday cake sticker that I've been waiting to use since I bought it. And I'll put that here at the bottom. And then I will come in with some of the confetti stickers on that page as well. And then some of the gold asterisks to tie it all in. And of course I forgot my way in sticker for Monday. I don't know why I do that every single week. And I've also forgotten my trash can sticker to remind me about garbage night. 
now Thursday I have to research my plan with me for the next week which actually I'm designing one that will go along with the all-star break the all-star game is here in DC so that's going to be a big deal for me here speaking of baseball I also forgot to mark my cubbies games like I do now I put this here on the very bottom washi and I really like that so I think from now on I'm going to put my cubby game stickers across the bottom that way I don't have to fight to fit them into my layout every day so I have a lot of designing and research to do for my next plan with me so I'm gonna put a little to do sticker here and then come in with a cute full box below and I've started watching A Handmaid's Tale, more like binging it. <laughs> so I do that on Thursday night instead of Grey's Anatomy right now. I didn't have any TV stickers, so I drew one on there the best I could. And there's no game on Thursday, so I didn't have to mark that. And Friday, of course, is release day, ideally. When nothing else is going on and there was not a marquee sticker in this kit which is fine so I just used one of the decorative washi strips and a quarter box and made my own and I will film my plan with me on Friday so I'll use a red glitter strip and a film sticker from my shop and I'll go back with an Etsy sticker and put it on my release day. And now I'll come in with a full box and I'll use the heart one, which is really cute. And I think I'll use both pink unicorns for the Saturday and Sunday. And now got to mark my cubby game for Friday and I'll go ahead and do Saturday and Sunday as well and then I'll come in with a cute little weekend sticker that is in the kit and I'll use a glitter strip and the weekend adventure on top of that and I forgot about a bill I have to pay on Thursday and there was no bill pay sticker so I just made my own and I love these little recollections pens they are 0.5 tip and I have some different colored ones so I use my green one to put in some dollar signs I'll come in with a big flag here with the rainbow on it now I have a game that we're going to on Saturday but first I will come in and put my two pink unicorn full boxes. And then I'll put the box down for the baseball game. We're going to Baltimore to see the Orioles play the Rangers. And here I'll use a banner sticker to mark when I'm going to mass. Now I don't have a lot going on at all Sunday after that, so I'm just going to come in with a half box that I'm sure will be filled later. Now our Sunday night show is over now. We were watching Westworld. Don't know what we're going to start watching now, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. So in the meantime, I'll just put a quarter box with a small flag on top of that draw a small little TV on it and I will fill in the show once we figure out what we're gonna watch now and so now we'll go over to the sidebar and I found a cute little sticker in my quotes book and what it says is by doing what you love you inspire and awaken the hearts of others so I absolutely love that. So that will go in my little calendar space at the top of my sidebar. 
and there wasn't really a Monday through Sunday calendar like there are in some of the other kits. So I pulled in a checklist box and a glitter header to make my own. And I'll use the next week's sticker from my shop. Now there is a hydrate sticker, so I will use that to mark my hydration for the entire week. I really like the ones that have the entire week connected. And I am going to make my own little full box-ish for the bottom. So I'll take a full box here and cut it down. And come in on top of it with the you are unique flag sticker I really like these large flag stickers and there you go I really love the color and the feel this week now as usual I used the leftovers from the kit to decorate my two mini planners and my travel notebook week on two pages so if you like my videos, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of future videos and we will see you next week. Bye.